joyful celebration led by our choir and very talented musicians for which we're all very thankful for. So we're excited about our time together this morning. Let us pray. Lord, indeed, we have much reason to be joyful because you have come. You have come to save us. You have come to forgive us, to equip us, to comfort us, to heal us, to encourage us, to strengthen us. Lord, thank you that you have come. Help us to make room in our hearts for you, that we will honor you in all that we do. Amen. Our hymn of praise is number 245 in your hymnal, The First Noel. Let's stand and sing together. be seated and we invite the Monroe family to light our Advent candle.
Good morning. Good morning. It is the fourth Sunday of Advent, and we are so honored to read for you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Love never fails. 1 Corinthians 13, 8. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. 1 John 4, 16. William Sloan Coffin reminds us, God's love doesn't seek value, it creates it. It is not because we have value that we are loved, but because we are loved that we have value. Christmas is the great assurance that God loves us and that we have great value because God loves us. One of the most beautiful and simplest of hymns is, Love Came Down at Christmas. God came down to be with us, walk with us, heal us, teach us, show us what love looks like. God's love is self-giving. God's love, is for us. God's love for us is meant to be transforming so that we will love others. We light this candle as a symbol that God is love, that the gift of Jesus is the gift of God's love for you and me. May we make room in our hearts to receive God's love. May God's love transform us in such a way that our love for our neighbor will be transforming as well. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. <laughs> As our children come forward for the children's message, we invite everyone to take a moment to pass the peace of Christ by greeting your neighbors around you with a friendly word or wave.
our hymn for reflection is number 242, Love Came Down at Christmas. It's during this um, song that we invite you to be in a spirit of giving and reflection. And if you choose to participate in worship through tithes or offerings, you can do that during this song by using the QR code in your bulletin or the one on your screen if you're worshiping with us online. You can also use the offering boxes in the back on your way out into the world today. You may stand or sit as you feel most comfortable as we sing Love Came Down at Christmas. Thank you. You may be seated. I remind our online viewers that you may send in a prayer request and our staff will be including those in our prayers this week. Our altar flowers today are giving in honor of Marie Slaughter on the occasion of our 67th wedding anniversary and Marie's birthday by her husband Clarence. So they are beautiful and make sure you send them a note or give them a call this week. That would be a wonderful thing to do. In our prayer time this morning, I'm just asking you to, in your own prayers as well, add Jackie Sullivan who is having surgery tomorrow. Um, keep Monica Moore in your prayers. Tom Wood, uh, continue to keep in your prayers. Patsy Cuccinella and Rudy and Maxie Henshaw, if you will continue to lift up all of those and the many others. So I hope you take our prayer list home and are on our email prayer chain and just pray for each other and those in our congregation daily. Our choir is going to call us to prayer. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, you have brought us again to the glad season when we celebrate the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Grant that his Spirit may be born anew in our hearts this day, and that we may joyfully welcome him again to rule over us. Open our ears that we may hear again the angel's song of old. Open our lips that we too may sing with uplifted hearts. By the birth of your holy child, Jesus, you gave us a great light to dawn on our darkness. Grant that in his light we may see light. And especially we remember those today who are walking in darkness, those who are struggling with grief and illness, loneliness, joblessness, addiction. So many ways, O oh Lord, that we need to feel your arms wrapped around us. We need to see your great light that shows us the way, the way through our struggles. And so, Lord, we lift up all of those near and dear to our hearts that need especially to feel your arms wrapped around them right now, to see your light, and may that light shine through us. 
And Lord, bestow on us the most excellent Christmas gift of love for all people, so that the likeness of your Son may be formed in us, and that we may have the ever-brightening hope of everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards all. We pray this, O Lord, in your holy name, the name of Jesus. And we pray together the prayer you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Comfort, O oh, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her sin has been pardoned. A voice is calling out in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up. Do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, Behold, here is your God.
With a mighty shout, we celebrate the coming of the Lord and say, Behold, here is your God. In the Bible, many of great men and women would go to the mountains to worship God in a powerful way. We gather today to go up to a higher place and experience the Lord's presence as we tell the story of Christ's birth. Though we celebrate with a loud voice, God tells us to comfort, comfort the people around us and speak tenderly to those who need to hear a voice of hope and peace. We are here to sing it boldly on the mountain, to tell the Christmas story to all who will hear, but we also take time to speak a quiet word of hope to those who are suffering, who need to feel the Lord's presence. Many around us are grieving and full of despair. To these, we echo the prophet's words and say, comfort, comfort my people. Take courage and be hopeful, for soon a child is going to come and bring peace, love, and joy. Thank you. 
As humanity waits, heaven prepares the way for the child to come. In a tiny corner of the world, a young woman is visited by an angel. The angel, te angel tells her that she will give birth to a son who will be great and will be called Son of the Highest. His kingdom will last forever. The angel gives her the name that she will call him. It is a name that will be higher than any other name in heaven or on earth. But at that time of his birth, his mother quietly gives him the name that we call out today. We join Mary as we call his name, Jesus. Jesus, all of us may call on the holy name of Jesus. We all may experience the coming of the child, the Savior, Christ the Lord. And if we listen with our hearts, we can hear the words of angels who whisper to the shepherds in the field. As we tell their story, let's join the shepherds and listen to the band of angels who proclaim the good news of Christ's birth. Mm -hmm. 
bear sweet news of the Savior's birth. We follow the shepherds to the manger to see the newborn miracle. As we come into the presence of the Lord, we cherish the quiet moments with Mary as she holds the baby in her arms. Here we may experience the warmth of his holiness in an intimate way. After their encounter with the Holy Child, the shepherds went out shouting and praising God. We remember the words of Isaiah who called us to go up to the mountain and boldly proclaim the good news. Now we go and sing it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Let's go up, sing it on the mountain, over hills and 
Jesus Christ is born. What a wonderful reason to celebrate. Jesus, who is light of the world, has come to bring us a new life of hope and joy. But as we walk this earth, it is easy to lose sight of the light he brings. Sometimes our eyes can become covered by the darkness of the world. Sometimes we forget to look beyond our troubles and see the light of hope and power that is offered to us. The wise men followed the light of the star for many days until it led, to, until it led them to the child. Let's fix our eyes on the holy light of Christ and let it shine on our path as we draw closer to the Lord.
the wise men worshiped the child and offered him their precious gifts. Since that day, countless generations before us have gathered to offer the Lord their gifts of adoration and praise. Now, this is our time. Let us embrace this moment as our generation gathers before the Lord. While we have living breath, let us do our part and worship in the presence of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We have called the name of Jesus. We have celebrated his birth and worshiped in his holy presence. Now it is time to go out from this place. Let our lives become a great celebration as we embody the words we shout and sing. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Noel, Christ is born.
Let's give him one more round of applause before we sing our closing hymn. <laughs> Thank all of you for bringing so much joy to our hearts. Thank you. Our sending hymn is number 251, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Let's stand and sing together. <laughs> 